What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flare Reviews. Tonight, I have for you the review of The Batman. Came out this year, 2022. It's an action adventure, gonna run you two hours, 56 minutes. Definitely a longer flick, but boy, oh boy, was it worth it. So, this movie is directed by Matt Reeves, starring Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, Paul Dano, Colin Farrell, Jeffrey Wright, Andy Serkis, and John Turturro. So this cast is absolutely loaded. Uh, again, it, again, it's Batman. We've seen a thousand Batmans at this point, it seems like. I was very skeptical going to this one, honestly, because I'm like, Robert Pattinson to me is, he, he's Edward for Twilight, you know? Again, I haven't seen a lot of his other films, but I haven't told he's actually a very good actor. And honestly, he was very good in this movie, so I will give him props for that. Um, this one I really enjoy because from the from the opening scene, it's way darker than I thought it was gonna be. Super dark movie, but it wasn't like over the top. It was just I don't know. It just, you almost have to see it to explain it, to see it to understand it. It was just very dark, very well done. Um, the Riddler, you got the Riddler, the Penguin, and Catwoman in this movie. Um, and Paul Dano, who played the Riddler, his outfit was really creepy. Just all of his stuff he did was just so, like, it was almost, like, Joker-esque in this film. And it was fun. I like that they centered it around him and that the Penguin was kind of like a side character in this movie, which tells me they're gonna they're building into something bigger, you know, with the success this one had. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with Colin Farrell moving forward as the Penguin, because he did do a good job. He didn't have a... Huge park. It was mostly again focused around the Riddler, which fantastic. Uh, Catwoman had a little bit, had some cool parts. Zilly Kravitz did a great job. Um, so again, this is uh, we know the whole story about about the Batman, but this is like a full grown Batman, and then we find out that Batman's parents, Bruce Wayne's parents, were actually not great people. Um, it was just the way that they t they twisted and turned this story into something we haven't seen before was awesome um definitely a lot of stuff i didn't expect the only thing that kind of let me down was the batmobile it was kind of lame it looked like just a big souped up dodge charger with a jet engine on the front of it i wasn't that impressed again i don't i don't think it was a dodge charger but it just it kind of looked like a fast and the furious car nothing too fancy and again and then the motorcycle again just kind of basic looking motorcycle nothing real fancy about it but the bat suit was cool um the Robert Pattinson voiceovers, I really did enjoy. I thought that, that it added to the movie and they didn't do it too over the top. They, the way they timed the voiceovers were like, it, it fit so well into the movie. And again, I thought he did a really good job because I had my complete doubts about this. I was like, no way, we don't need another Batman. But I'm a huge Batman fan. Um, I don't think I've ever talked about this before. Massive Batman fan. So again, it's on HBO Max right now. Go check it out again. It's a long movie. So honestly, I'm kind of glad I watched it at home so I could take bathroom breaks if I needed to and whatnot. So with that being said, I'm going to give this one a 7.9 out of 10 across the board again. I knocked out a little bit just because I want a little more Penguin, a better Batmobile, a little shorter movie, and the motorcycle. But again, overall, really good flick, really well done. Matt Reeves, hats off to you. Maybe you're starting to fix the DC that they've been screwing up for a while with these movies. So I'm hoping maybe there is another one because, you know, I, to me personally, I never get enough Batman. So I've been rambling for almost four minutes, but I will talk to you all soon. Very, very soon here at Flare Reviews.